are data analytics certificates actually worth it? Can they help you become a data analyst with no experience or degree? And the answer is yes and also no. It depends on what you do with the certificate and what certificates you get. In this video, I'm going to clear everything up for you. I'm going to explain what a data analytics certificate really is, who should get one, the best certificates to get, and finally compare them to other options like getting a degree or taking a boot camp. Let's get started. A data analytics certificate, as we talk about it, it's basically a course you take and after you complete the course, you get a piece of paper saying, hey, I did it. You can then print it out or put it on your LinkedIn, whatever you want. And that is cool, but the real value is what you learn and the piece of paper is not gonna be as useful as your new skills. So who should get a data analytics certificate? Well, I'd say mostly beginners. If you're at a level where you have some experience, you're not really going to need this piece of paper. Sure, learning is always good and I encourage everyone to do so. I mean, that's literally my name on YouTube, but these courses like the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate certificate and other courses for example on Coursera they're mainly for beginners now there are some advanced ones as well but most of the courses that most people focus on are not going to go that much into depth and once you get more advanced it's going to be more about applying what you've learned yourself but for beginners they can definitely help you learn the things you need to get your first job so what data analytics certificate should you get what courses should you take before mentioning the exact ones let's look at the skills we need to learn so we're looking to find a program that includes all or at least most most of the skills that employers look for. Because if we have experience working with these tools and we know what we should, we're way more likely to get a job offer. We don't want to spend time learning things we don't need. That's just going to be a huge waste of time as well. I've gathered the most essential skills through articles, websites, studies, and my own experience. And SQL is the number one skill for most data roles. It's a query language we use to deal with databases. Now, luckily, learning SQL is pretty easy and many courses include SQL. Here we have two options. We can either take a course and learn SQL on the side, or we can take a course with lots of SQL and focus on SQL. The important thing is just that we study enough SQL to feel comfortable, and the best way to do this is by taking a course that involves some SQL hands-on training. During an interview, you can't ask Google or ChatGPT how to solve a SQL problem, so you'll need to be familiar with problem solving and working with SQL. Next, you want to learn a data visualization software. Now, we have a couple of different options, but the two most famous ones are Tableau or Microsoft. Microsoft Power BI. They do very similar things, it's pretty much up to you. Next, learn Excel. This is actually expected for most roles nowadays, but it can still be a good idea to take a course that gives you an opportunity to brush up on your Excel skills. Finally, learn a programming language, and the most popular ones are Python or SQL for data analysts. Now, Python is way more versatile and also more in demand, and likely a better option for most people, but R is also great and used a lot in academia and in statistical analysis. I would say do your own research, but for for most people, if you don't want to do that research, Python is a better option. I'm going to make a full video on the best courses, but I recommend the Google Data Analytics Certificate. It's still a great option. Now, we also have DataCamp, and you can check out the courses by Microsoft, like their Power BI Data Analyst course. If you take one of these courses, I do recommend learning SQL on the side, for example, through my favorite platform, LearnSQL.com, and I'm going to leave all the links in the description. But now let's move on. So why should you get or not get a Data Analytics Certificate? In all honesty, I think they're really good for learning and showing that you did something. That's the main benefit. Learning through a platform that gives you a certificate can help you stay motivated because learning can be tough, especially when you're on your own self-studying. But an online course and a certificate is not going to make companies throw themselves at you. Projects and building a portfolio will be even more helpful. Optionally, you can also get certified by taking an exam, for example, the Microsoft PL300 Data Analyst exam. Now, in my personal opinion, the best online courses are very hands-on and allow you to build projects. It's going to save you a ton of time so you have a couple of projects done when you finish the course already. I've actually made a data analytics roadmap with a bunch of different courses put together. Now there are many expensive boot camps and programs which can be really helpful for the right person but for most people they can do just fine with low cost or even free resources. So check that out in the description. I update it regularly and I created it by looking at the curriculum of expensive programs costing tens of thousands of dollars and then just putting down everything in my own data analytics roadmap with low cost online courses. The thing is, you don't want to waste time taking the wrong course that you don't really need. So yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching. Have an amazing week guys and good luck on your data journey.